Hello and welcome back to another episode of Idology, your weekly American Idol recap show. All right, Melinda, let's talk finale. Best and worst moments. What was your favorite? Well, I mean, why am I even asking what was your favorite moment? It wasn't everybody's favorite moment the same part? Hello, when Jennifer Holliday ate Jessica Sanchez's face. <laughs> it was the most amazing duet I can recall really ever seeing on the finale. I had friends over, but I didn't care. I was laid out on my living room floor, pounding the floor. Like, what in the world is happening right now? That was some Wild Kingdom sh I'm sorry, it just no, was. No, sir. I don't know what creature that was. Reptile demon. Sobekites were reptile worshipers. Did you ever have Miss Mullen for English? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like her, but hungry for human flesh. But she was <laughs> literally devouring Jessica during the performance. Look at me, I'm afraid, John. Afraid. And yet Jessica at the same time was holding her ground and her little feathers kept puffing up yeah. and she got bigger and bigger. Just yes. the energy exchange was... It was so dynamic. And what I loved about it is that Jessica came out, she didn't come out timid. I mean, she came out strong. However, the more and more the song went on and Jennifer would give her that energy, Jessica would just give it back. And by the end, I was like, I think we just watched a masterclass. That ending when they traded out the you're gonna love, you're gonna love. Jessica like nailed it. Her tone was perfection and strong. I always be able to keep myself distant. I felt like I was spontaneously combusting. It was the most amazing thing. How the producers and directors didn't just unleash the confetti shower then and call it a night is beyond me. I think that Aerosmith played after that, but I don't recall. Who the heck knows? I'm also gonna give a quick shout out to the Reba Skyler duet. It would not be uh, me, oh yeah. it would not be Idology <laughs> if we did not give Skyler Lane some credit. Way to hold your own with a living legend. I love seeing the two of them together and I never realized how much Skyler kind of looks like she could be Reba's daughter. Skyler's spunk and everything, I mean, she maintained that next to Reba and that's what I loved about her. I do however need to add that I really liked the phone book. Idol doesn't do funny very well, like ever. And yet that was good. I was hollering. And at the end, when Joshua made fun of himself and just oh. kept singing like zero, one, two, two. Zero, one, two, oh, da, 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 da. I even remember the numbers. Seriously, I remember the numbers. That's when you know you've done a great job. So kudos to Michael Orland for writing that song. Absolutely yeah. phenomenal. My other favorite thing about the finale, not a lot of idiots. Usually they focus on the idiots and the Statue of Liberty guys and the chicken ladies. So true. None of them. Instead, we got Steven Tyler and his sloth. My therapist tells me to take it slow. I gagged a little when the sloth attached itself to him. I was just sort of like. April, May, June, July, and this. I don't like you. <laughs> I hope you go to jail. My lawyer will not help you. The other thing I didn't care for, too many retreads. I don't understand that. Nigel, spring for some new material. In seasons past, I mean, you know, you've had a video from the president, Brad Pitt has shown up, all kinds of different things have happened in the finale that have just been huge, huge moments. And here we are kind of just... I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. Recapping the season for the most part. We're doing it in all white, which makes it everything better really but we're recapping the season i do need to say i wanted to love the joshua fantasia duet i wanted to love it i have no idea what happened there there's a part of me that was like wow that was crazy amazing then there was another part that was like were they just screaming at me and then there was the other part that was like what what happened to the rest of her pants i was just i was just confused pretty much hands down. I loved it and and I also dreaded it with every bone yes. of my body, you know. Yes. Okay. Somewhere I'm with you. somewhere in between those two emotions is nothing, but I only experienced those two extremes. It never met in the middle. <laughs> exactly. So Melinda, let's wrap up the season of Idology right here. If there's one thing you could do differently, 
on American Idol next year, what would it be? They're never going to do it. <laughs> However. Of course they're not. I vote to change the voting system. I know they want to be able to say. A staggering 132 million votes came in for these two. However, I wish we would go to the system like Dancing with the Stars, where you can vote three different ways, but only only up to the number of contestants that are involved. That way, for the people that don't have time to vote for two hours straight. Right. <laughs> Maybe we'll devote five to 10 minutes to voting, but, but after that, you know. Yes. I can so only vote for contestant three so many times before I gotta get on with my life and my chores, you know? We would actually feel like we had a say if they would just let us vote a small amount of time. So times. you're advocating a voting cap. You're I not am. advocating adding the judges' scores or anything like that from Dancing with the Stars. You're just saying, let's limit the number oh. of votes. Very good. Yeah, none of the judges scores. No. <laughs> My second thing was for you to take Jimmy Iovine's place. But other than that, that's all, that's all I really want. I'll take it. You know, I'll do it for free. I, I'm just you know. saying, you know her name is Jennifer. No, Randy. No, Jessica. And that's anybody awesome. can read the internet and react to it the morning after. I could do that just as well as him and get her name Especially right. Especially if Nigel is behind the camera feeding you the line. If I could change one thing about Idol in season 12, I would clear more songs and I would retire the ones that we've heard more than five times. I think oh. once a song's been performed five times in 11 seasons, it's time to like hang its number up in the stadium and be done with it. And I do not and never will believe that any artist with a functioning brain cell is going to say no to letting their song be covered on Idol. Maybe there's a couple of really, really snooty bands, maybe a couple of British indie acts that would be like, I don't want that. But almost yeah. everyone knows you're gonna see an enormous sales bump the next day for your yes. song on iTunes for the original so. version. And you would like that, and you would like that money and that exposure, period, end saying. of story. So to all songwriters, artists, everyone out there, Clear your songs so that we can hear something different next season. Thank you. I kind of feel like they did a lot of things right this season. Erica Van Pelt. I feel like the talent level was diverse and deep. And I feel like the theme weeks weren't as fusty and awful as they normally are. That's all right because I love the way you lie. I'm just gonna say that this was my favorite season since, well, season six. So <laughs> this was really my favorite season of the show. I'm gonna make this place your home. I thought it was done so well. I love the talent on the show. I keep, keep love. I really, really loved that each person was an artist, contrary to what the judges were saying. Each person was their own individual artist. We knew what they were gonna to bring to the table and it made me so excited. I felt like I was watching just history in the making for a lot of these contestants. We're gonna get a lot of good music from a lot of good, talented oh, yeah. people from this season. When the truth is told, you can get what you want. You can just get old. And in some ways, season 11 was the year Idol gave us what we actually asked for. Could they have cleared more songs? Sure. Could they have maybe been a little more creative? Yes, but mostly pretty good and, and a lot of great music week to week. So I can't complain. This may be, you know, in terms of talent, production, and overall picture, the best idol season ever? Can I say that? Yeah, I think I can. Oh, Nikki, I love you because you know such lovely people. The show must go hey! no more drama, no. I'll see you later, but you won't see me because next time I'll be deadly serious next time. Cool, cool, cool.